This is the story of a modest, hard-working young man, a loving family, and the strength that came from enduring the unendurable. St. Petersburg's 20-year-old Alexei Ermanov won the gold medal in men's figure skating at February's Olympic Winter Games in Lillehammer, Norway. He was raised by his mother and maternal grandparents in this southeastern industrial district of the city. Until recently, they all lived together in an apartment on the eighth floor of this building. On June 23rd, while on a grueling 56-city exhibition tour in the United States, his dear grandmother, Agrippina Tumanova, died. It's a great comfort now to be home with his grandfather, Vladimir Godunov, and his mother, Galina. Their warm affection and home cooking are just what Alosha needs. With Galina busy working as a cook, Mrs. Tumanova devoted her life to her grandson. She first brought Alexei to the skating rink on public transportation when he was four and would stay with him at the rink all day, every day, for years. His success would have been impossible without her. And Alexei will never forget her. I'd like to say thanks to my grandmother that I'm here now giving this interview and that I've become Olympic champion. Beginning at the age of four years, she brought me to the skating ring every day. It lasted for five, six, seven years. Only after this did I begin to work out by myself when I was older. I'm so very thankful to my grandmother. If it were not for her, I wouldn't be sitting here now. Amidst the splendor of this loveliest of all Russian cities, sobering monuments remind all of St. Petersburg's courageous past. Alexei Romanov knows that there is little about his city and himself that has been unaffected by the type of horrors that his grandmother and her family endured here. Fifty years ago, during the World War II siege of Leningrad, Galina Armanov recalls. My mom's first husband was ill. She had an elderly mother and a small son of five years old, and they were not able to be evacuated. Her husband died first, and they were notified that her brother was missing. After this notice, her mother died, and now she was all alone with my little brother. They lived the same as everyone in Leningrad. It was a hard life. Then a bomb fell on their house, then someone stole their ration cards. Everything happened, and they survived it all. No one wanted to employ my mother because she didn't look healthy. One day she tried to get employment, and they asked, Why did you come for a job? You have only a couple of days left before your death and you want to work. And then there was a cooperative on Sinai Square, where they were making mesh nets for disguising, and they employed her. The people there were very nice. They had a very nice boss, and they helped them to survive. This is St. Petersburg's Jubilee Palace of Sport, where Alexei trains with his coach, Alexei Mishin. It is here in this practice rink that he has devoted 15 years of his life to achieving figure skating excellence. He's working hard, for he knows there is strong competition for the gold. Jolted by the loss of his grandmother and feeling the fatigue of his two and a half month skating tour, there are also hometown pressures to cope with. And he'll have to call on all his reserves to win. I think that there will be no advantage at home for me because it is most difficult to perform at home because everyone is watching me my relatives are watching my town is watching i must perform my best and not be a disgrace with my face in the mud i think everyone is going to be a serious rival because male figure skating is difficult as the tough competition has approached alexi's relaxed at home entertaining friends and always seem to think of others first I think everyone likes him. Everybody likes him as soon as they meet him. They all say, what a nice person he is. Not like a champion, but a simple guy. But Alexei is hardly average. His skating and personality are the result of a loving family and the endless sacrifices of his extraordinary grandmother. Agrippina Tumanova lived a difficult life, but all was set right when her Alosha won in Lillehammer. 
Now tonight, he skates in her memory for the gold medal.